Hello and welcome to the Your CAD Capture Constraint Manager series. This video demonstrates how to create differential pair signals in the Constraint Manager through the Your CAD Capture tool. A common requirement in high-speed design is differential pair routing. Differential pair routing uses a specific line size and gap to produce a coupling effect that protects the signals from outside noise and interference. You can create manual and automatic differential pair methods in the Constraint Manager. To manually create a differential pair, start by selecting both of the pair nets. Then, right-click on the selected net and select Create. From there, choose Differential Pair and provide a name for the diff pair. Finally, click the Create command, and the diff pair name will be added to the object list. Or, you can create the diff pair by going to the object menu, selecting Create, and clicking on the differential pair. Another option is to right-click on the object name, select Create, and click on the differential pair. This will open the Create Differential Pair dialog box, where you can toggle to the net and select both nets you want to add as a diff pair. Specify the diff pair name and click the Create command to add it to the object list. Let me delete this newly created diff pair nets by right-clicking on the object and selecting Delete. Then, confirm the deletion by clicking Yes. To quickly create a differential pair, use the Auto Setup command found in the Create Differential Pair dialog box. In the schematic, locate the common suffix for your positive and negative signals, such as N and P, plus and minus, or 0 and 1. In this specific schematic, Many signals have underscore P and underscore N as common suffixes. Specify this filter as underscore P and underscore N and hit the tab button. This will search the database for all nets with the common suffix. Simply click on create to generate the differential pairs and close all dialog boxes once completed. The differential pairs are now added to the object list. Before we can assign EC sets, we must first create the EC set rules for the differential pair. Let's begin by creating a new electrical constraint set. Navigate to the electrical constraint set folder and choose differential pair. To create this set, select a design or constraint set, and click objects from the menu icon, then create, followed by electrical C set. Or, you can right click and select create and then electrical C set. We'll give this new name diff pair. Once it's created, the electrical constraint set is now added to the object list. Let's take a brief look at these rules. The primary gap is the recommended distance between two differential pair nets. It is the edge-to-edge -edge spacing that should be maintained when there are no obstacles or necking down between them. We have set this distance at 6 mils. The primary width refers to the width of the trace to be followed. It is the standard width that should be used at all times, except when narrowing down between obstacles. If this value is not specified, the standard physical line width value will be used. In this case, we have set it as 7 mils. When routing between pins and vias, such as in VGA areas, it is important to consider the neck gap and width rule. This rule should be applied to ensure that the traces fit correctly. In this case, we are setting the neck gap and width value the same as the primary value with a tolerance of 0.1 mils. The minimum line space check is essential to prevent differential pair nets from coming too close together. It can also be used if your differential pair spacing needs to be less than your default rule set spacing. For instance, if your default spacing rule is set to 8 mils, but your differential pair primary gap requires a 6 mil spacing, the tool will route the differential pair nets at a 6 mil spacing. This rule is a final check to ensure everything is properly spaced. The static phase is the allowable difference in length between the differential pair nets. Set this as 200 mils. In the dynamic phase, I keep it empty. Dynamic phase tolerance compares interval lengths at bend points. We are setting the maximum length allowed for an uncoupled trace as 600 mils. This length should be added up for the entire differential pair route as shown in the green edge. When the gather control is set to include, the uncoupled trace length from the pins to the gather point is added to the total uncoupled length. However, if the option is set to ignore, this length is not counted. 
To assign the EC set to the newly created differential pair, go to the Net folder and select Differential Pair. Then, under the referenced electrical C set column on the right side of the editor sheet, assign the EC set to the differential pairs. Notice that the EC set constraint rule is inherited. That's all the time we have now for this video. Thanks for watching.